All right, so today I'm going to uh, be checking out the Nintendo DS browser um, on my recently recased Nintendo DS Lite. Um, this thing is this thing is kind of interesting. Um, there was no Wi-Fi built into the DS when it first came out, like that the gray one and the DS Lite uh, that didn't change. And so uh, what Nintendo did is they released um, this browser game, and uh, so when you open it up comes with a memory expansion pack so this is a RAM so that you can actually operate the browser um, as well as the traditional DS cartridge uh, so you're going to be using both slots of your Nintendo DS um, furthermore you get a lot of paperwork um, here's a promo thing for um, Nintendo VIP 24 7 um, I'm not really sure what this is um, this is, I mean, this is kind of cool. The person never redeemed it, so that pin number is still under the kind of scratch-off uh, thing. There is a, um, like, promo thing for uh, the Nintendo DS. Here we go, the brain training from Dr. Kawashima. Um, is that, like, Brain Age, I think, is the game? Um, or, or, wait, or Big Brain Academy. I don't know. Um, some English training, Tetris DS, um, kind of interesting, I don't know, maybe this didn't come with it, maybe the person just put it back in, the wrong thing, uh, parental controls, um, which is pretty smart, I mean, this is like, before, I'm pretty sure this is pre-smartphone, so like, you're handing over the internet to, you're possibly handing the internet over to your child, so being able to control what they're looking at is pretty cool, um, I, and then this is, I guess, uh, oh yeah, how to throw it away when you're all done. Um, then we have the actual manual, the instruction booklet, and it's quite substantial. Um, kind of explains how to use it, how to clean the cartridges, and, uh, how to navigate. Um, I guess because, I don't know, you might have people who are unfamiliar with navigation of a web browser. Um, so... I want to I want to start it up and check out what it's like. So take the two cartridges out. One nice thing about um, this cartridge, so we have like the dust cover for the Game Boy Advance slot. This is like nearly the exact same size as the dust cover. So um, that means it's not like uh, jutting out. You know, with the uh, Game Boy Advance games. When you would put it in there, it would stick out like maybe a centimeter um, out of the bottom, which was kind of uncomfortable. It meant like, I mean, for such a good sized system, putting it in your pocket with a Game Boy Advance game was a little bit more difficult because it was kind of jutting out. Um, then you put the DS cartridge in its I mean, most obvious spot. So um, when you boot it up, I have mine, uh, it doesn't automatically start. One thing I was kind of curious about, there was, there was a setting, um, well, where is it? There's a setting for, well, that's language. Well, there, there was a, like an auto start setting, I thought, um, where if you have a game cartridge in, it would automatically start it up, and I'm curious if that was on, which one would it start? Oh, whoops. Oh, great. Now I have to shut down the system because I went into there. Um, all right. Here we go. So when you open the browser, uh, you're greeted with the Nintendo logo and then the Opera thing. Now the password is required. Um, I don't know when you would set that up. This was a used one. It was kind of in a bundle of things that I bought, but... The person did write down their password, 2718. Um, all right, so you can um, like browse using the directional pad. You can also um, grab the scroll bar. There we go. And you can scroll up and down. Um, now, if we go to this Boston website, I haven't connected it to the internet yet, so I don't... 
What? Oh, okay. Um, all right, so now I'm going to go into the Wi-Fi settings. Now, the big bummer about this, I did, I actually did try to connect it already, so I know what will happen. Um, I search for an access point. I'm going to hide my wireless name once I find it. So this is the big problem with this now is um, it is unusable um, because. Uh, it asks you to uh, enter a WEP key. Um, most, I th I, it has to be all internet now, it uses probably WPA2. So it detects my network, but um, when I enter my WPA2 password, it does not, it does not work. Um, I was considering, here if we cancel this out. Now, um, AOSS I think is like a, a, a dead, thing too, at least um, my modem or my router doesn't have it, um, but there was something kind of interesting, and that is connect to Nintendo Wi-Fi USB connector. So um, they sold, uh, it looks like just a, a standard USB thumb drive, and apparently if you plug that into your computer, it would broadcast in a way that you would be able to connect. Um, I do not have that, though. So. Um, I am considering uh, picking that up and trying to see if I can get this browser up and running. Um, uh, no, get out of here. So, okay, thank you. Now you can see um, you have different options. Um, there's the uh, n basic navigation forward and back, um, stop, reload, and refresh. Um, History, you can view your history. Oops, oh, start page. Um, entering a URL, and you have like the most common ones right there. I'll X out of that. Um, favorites, oh, bookmarks, there we go. Find, you can search. Now, I think the default search engine is Yahoo. Um, settings uh, we're not gonna mess with those right now a help button um, now this one uh, the SSR mode overview mode um, I'm not exactly sure what that one does it probably says in the manual but this one is load images so if you wanted to it's basically you could just view HTML I guess um, so you can see uh, the stars and then this logo disappear and if we hit that there we go now it looks fancy again. Um, then there is your, oh, this is zoom, not search function. All right. Oh yeah. Nice. So you can zoom in. Let's go by 50%. There we go. Um, that's kind of funny that this, um, like now I'm, I'm very accustomed to the search function being a spy or a, um, magnifying glass. Here it is, the binoculars. And then this button all the way here is, uh, swapping the screens which right now is doing nothing. So uh, in here at the wrench, um, we have our settings, um, overview mode, fit to width, um, encoding, I'm not sure what that does. You can apparently have a proxy, your default search engine. We could uh, switch that up. And of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it be bing.com. There we go. Oops, not dot con, dot com. Perfect. There we go. Oh, invalid. Okay. That's, uh, that's interesting. Um, so we can show chip, show tips, play event sounds. Um, I think that's basically just the clicking um, or like a little horn that honks if you do something incorrect. Help dialogues. Handwriting is default. Of course, the DS, they love to using the handwriting mode. You see that in um, games like Brain Age and Professor Layton series. You use your handwriting a lot. Um, what else? Keyboard language. You can switch that up. What other? 
German, Italian, Spanish, French, English, UK. All right. Um, then uh, here we go into the network connection, that screen that we've seen before. Um, time zone. If, you have, if you're living in Arizona, you can undo daylight saving time. And then uh, address entry. Default prefix. This is kind of cool because um, you don't have to type that in. I think it would just automatically do that. Um, so anyway, let's save all those settings. I don't think I saved, changed anything really. but um, So that is um, the DS browser. Um, if you're interested in seeing if I could actually get this up and running, uh, you can leave a comment or something. I'll try to hunt down one of the nin the Nintendo Wi-Fi USB things. Um, other than that, um, probably just going to try to resell this thing. Um, anyway, if you uh, enjoyed the video, uh, hit like or subscribe or not, or, you know, just do whatever you want. Uh, toodaloo!